Luca, how are you? Doctor. I said, how I'm are sorry. you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Sit down, sit down. Doctor. I'm so sorry for failure to comport myself and my mother's word. I shouldn't have allowed my emotions take the better of me the way I did. To the extent of pulling, pulling so hard on your rope. I'm so sorry, doctor. Please forgive me. Please. Apology accepted. Thank you. Um, doctor, what happened to my mother? I mean, will she be... What happened? before your mother passed out. Um, we were discussing something important and she... she, what, she what was this important thing you were discussing? Um, we were discussing... From, um, if you um, don't want to disclose it to me, Yes, Doctor, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, the book, uh, well, I am asking because whatever it is has uh, complicated issues for you. Your mother did not just faint, she suffered heart attack. Yeah. From my findings. It was shock induced. Shock induced? Hi, um, doctor. What is the implication? Yeah, the implication is uh, she has to be treated first before any medical surgery okay. can be carried out on her. Okay. Do it any other way, and you'll be sending her to her early grave with a jet speed. As I talk to you, Webuka, your mother is in coma. What? What? Doctor, what happened? I thought she just fainted. Okay, okay, um, please. How do we start? How do we start? Where, where do we start from, please? How how do we treat her? You see, the type of drug needed for the treatment she requires to stabilize her for the surgery on time is rare and expensive. We don't usually buy and keep such drugs here. When needed, we we'll prescribe for patients to buy them. Where do I buy the drugs, Doctor? And how much is it? Mm, 22,000 for a card of nine tablets. Your mom will be required to be taking three tablets daily for the next uh, two weeks. Mm, for the next two weeks. Let me write down the names of the drug and the closest pharmaceutical store you can get them. Mm? Get it quickly because we need to start administering it on her today. Today? Sure, Ibuka, today, that's, you can see the urgency of, uh, I mean, it's, it has to be urgent. Hmm? Just be fast about it. All the best. Hmm? It's okay, doctor. I'll try my best. Sure. Well, your mom will be fine, okay? My mother will not die. No, she will not. My mother will not die. She will, I like the faith. She will not die. My mother will not die. She Thank will. you. Okay. Don't worry. Everything will be fine, okay? Hey, Buka. Man, being a man. Yes, my 
Striking for this time around. The usual reason, mom. Money. Any other thing added is just made decorations as always. It's crazy. Hmm. Mom, school is tiring right now. I mean, you're supposed to spend like four years in school, but you end up spending like six years or even more. Honestly. Really annoying. <sighs> Sick and tired of school, man. <sighs> really tiring. In fact, your dad and I are tired too. You know, your dad was talking about sending you girls outside the country. Your daddy went to Okiwe. He said he has an important issue to sort out with his account officer and also said the bank manager. Okay, mm. that is great. Well, he is going to be returning to a sumptuous welcome. Mm -hmm. His favorites. Okay. Unkobi. I know. And fresh fish barbecue Aww. from Amarachi and I. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, you're forgetting something, something very important. Aside the mkwabi yes. and the pepper soup we are going to make for him, we're going to be adding something different. Come, let me tell you. Kitchen, because I missed your meal. I have some shots and salad soup in mm, the kitchen. Mm, really, you mm, like mm, it? Mm, Definitely the boy. <laughs> your luggage. Uh -huh. And the trunk. Yes, we need to get it from the car. So, yeah. please do. <laughs> Let's go. While I prepare the things in the kitchen. so long to get what I ask you to. Good day, what have you been... Good day, ma. You? Good day. Um... Oh, pardon my manners. You're welcome. Sit. Thank you, ma'am. Mm. Wow. My instincts are always dead right. I said to myself three days ago when you run out of this door, come down, Egodi. He will come around. And here you are. So, tell me, Mr. Handsome, have you changed your mind? Madam Egode, mm -hmm. my mother suffered severe heart attack. It happened while she was telling me about my biological mother and how she ended with me after I confronted her with what you told me last time. She's still in coma 
as we speak. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Dora had a heart attack? Mm. Still in coma? to you but that has not erased my humanity look I'm sorry I'm sorry for everything and that includes what happened here three days ago in fact I am sorry for what I did to Dora back then in Yula when she insisted on keeping you Dora was and still my only true friend in this village I didn't just know what came over me on both occasions. Three days after I drew her out of my house, I had a change of heart. I did all I could to find her back and bring both of you back home. I'm still sad that I failed. Believe me. It was years later that I learned she followed some rural farmers to one remote village in Yola or Mubi thereabout and settled as a farm laborer. With time according to her, she said she was trading on farm produce. She was making supplies of fresh farm produce to hotels and restaurants in Yola and Mubi. That before you were due for primary school, she had successfully saved enough money to open up her eatery business where she was operating it before the recent <laughs> terrorist invasion. Please. I am not here for you to complete the story my mother started. I know by his grace that she will survive it and she will continue where she stopped. I'm here f once again to beg you we need your help. Please, help me save my dying mother. I'm begging you. Um, Biko, Biko. Adiko, calm down. What do you want? I am ready to render you any kind of help you require to save Dora. Yes, I will. Mm. I will help you, at least as an atonement for my sins against both of you. Just say it. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank Always you. Always welcomed. Thank you. God bless you. You don't need to say that. I appreciate this. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. Oh, come on. Thank you. You don't need to kneel. Hmm? Come. Come with me. Yeah, we are. Your room? Yes. My room. So tell me. Ma'am, please. Ma'am, sorry to ask. What are we doing in your room? What do you have in the bag you came with? Here is the document to the five portions of land my mother purchased in the village. Um, after everything you still call her mom? Um, it's alright, never mind. So, why did you come here with Dora's land assets? For what? Well, mom, 
The drugs prescribed for my mother are quite expensive and the doctor said she must start taking them immediately. In fact, every three days I have to cough out 22,000 Naira to buy the drugs for the next two weeks. I have been able to afford six days dosage. If they are exhausted in the next three days, I don't know how I will be able to raise more money to buy more. I see no wisdom keeping these portions of land. I, I need to sell them because I, I want to save a life. I want you to help me, please. I want to save my mother's life. Please. In other words, you are in my house to sell the portions of land to me, right? Yes, ma'am. The portions of land are valued to the over 2.5 million naira. But if you give me 1 million naira, I will sell them to you. I'm serious about it. Erika, relax. I've told you that I will help you, and that is why we are here. You? You? I'm here. You are here. The bed is here. And? This is condom. Bed. All I need from you is a sound sex. And you will live here richer by two million naira. That will be enough to pay Dora's hospital bill. I don't need your land. All I need is to have a sound sex with you. Deal? Madam Egodi. Mm-hmm. Should I tell you the truth? Mm-hmm. After hearing all I heard from my mother three days ago, after all that happened to her because of you, and also after hearing the part of the story you told me a while ago, I would rather allow my mother die than to accept what you are requesting of me. I will not do it. So, no deal. Did you get it? All right, then. Relax. I will help you. I will help you. Yes, I will do. But, not for free again because of what you just said here. I will buy the portions of land, the exact amount. 2.5 million naira, that's the worth, right? Yes, yes, ma'am. You've spoken enough. Why don't you sit? and count it. I will. Why I rush to a key and get the balance from the bank. Oh, thank you so oh, much. Oh, you don't need to do thank this. You, thank you. Thank you. God bless you, ma. Thank Ever you gosh. so much. Thank you. Get up. Thank you. Sit down. Okay. Thank you, Here is my house, right? Mm. So feel free. Okay. Be comfortable. I will. Hmm? Take care. I want you to know the exact amount. Okay. Thank you, ma. Don't do this. 
Thank okay. You. Okay. Bye. So, relax, right? This is my house. Oh, really? While I'm aware, if you've been needing anything, just go to the fridge and, you know? Thank you, Thank you. God bless you. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Sit. Okay, I'll wait. I'll count. I'll count. I'll be back in a few. Okay, I'll count. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even if she didn't come up with any other money, I'm okay with this. I think this is stuff. Hey, but I thank you, thank you, thank you. This is not my house. Uh, she she went out. She went out. This I. Your man remains silent because anything you say now will be used against you in the court of law. Used against me. What did I do? What did I do? I didn't do anything. This is not my house. This is not. The, the owner of the house went out. Madam let me, let me Give move me on hand. now. The owner I of the house you. is not around. This is not even my money. Hold on. Madam Ego! I did not do anything. Move. I did. I, 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 I didn't do anything. Who wanted to do anything? I know you. Move. Move. Keep going. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Keep going. But I did. I did. Don't mind. Can I tell you the truth? Don't mind. Can, can I? Can I? Move. Move. Keep moving. <laughs> Officer, let's move. go. Officer, let me talk. Allow me to talk. Okay? Allow me to talk. I said move. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Officer, can I? Can I talk? Move it. Move. Can we go? Say move. Phase one successfully concluded. <laughs> when a viper's eyes are locked on a puri, only the Almighty can save the puri from becoming food to him. Ebuka, only the Almighty can save you from becoming my bed warmer. Because I, Egodi, I am a says viper whose eyes are squarely locked on you. I like this game. Honestly, I love this game. My gate, I have to lock it. For now, you know, until whenever I want. So I'm telling you the truth. I'm not lying. Uh, the money you saw me with, 
Madame Egodi was the one that gave it to me. She gave me the money to count before she left for the bank in Okibwe to get the balance. I am not lying to you. I'm telling you the truth. I'm not a thief. Now, you said you went to the house to sell land to her. And that the money we found with you was part payment she gave to you. You're right. Assuming you were saying the truth, why in her bedroom? Why not in her living room? Um, um officer, it was Madame Egodi's idea for us to go to her bedroom. She was the one that took me there. Believe me, I'm not lying to you. Believe me, officer. Mm -hmm. An animal scholar alerted us about your presence in the compound. And he said, he saw Madame Egodi leave the compound. And after, he saw you scaling the fence into the compound. And by the time we got there and arrested you in our bedroom with a huge amount of cash, Madame Egodi was not in the compound. So, who were you transacting with, Hagost? Um, officer, that anonymous caller that called is a liar from the pit of hell. And you, you are an angel in God's innermost chamber, um, sent to Kweboka. Um, are you? My God, thank God you're here. Tell them that I, I, I am not lying. It's generate me from this. I, you know what, what I came to your house for. I am not lying. I did not. I, I am not a thief. But you are a thief, Eboka. You broke into my house and stole my money. Is that not what you met him doing when you arrived to my house with your colleague, officer? Yes, ma'am. Well, good. What in heaven's name is going on here? Are I stole you... your money? How? Are you shocked? Not so fast, boy. I'm not done yet. You see, the officers that came to arrest you are working for me. So, do not waste your breath trying to prove otherwise because in them you don't have a listening ear what is going on why are you doing this to me why something i have been requesting from you sex Comply or you will rot here. In fact, if in seven days you're still calling my bluff, I will instruct the officers to kill and dispose your body where no one will ever find it. Sex with me for your freedom and get two million naira to save the woman that gave you life. Those are the alternatives. Get back to me when you decide. What is going on? Officer, officer, why me? Why me? Why me, officer? Why me? Why me? Madame Godi. <sighs> Officers, God. Madame Egodi, what in heaven's name is all this about? What are you doing, Ebuka? Crying and playing the scent and hoping for what? Miracle? You believe in destiny, miracle and justice? 
but this is no time for bravado and empty beliefs. This is the time to be realistic. And being realistic in this situation means accepting that if you have time to wait, the poor dying woman who gave her all to save and bring you up has no time. She needs her drugs. She needs a life-saving surgery. It is you. And only you who can make sure she gets both. Whatever you must do, do it and save her life. She deserves no less from you. Staying here defying Madame Godi's actions is the height of foolishness in this situation. She and her police friends have obviously bossed you into a corner. It's time to back down for your mother's sake. Cry if you want. Feel humiliated, used, abused and scandalized. But still go ahead and do it. Get the money. Save your mother. That means like surrendering to the devil. Yes. But in this situation, that's common sense. Officer! Officer! What is it? Why are you disturbing the station? Peace and last night. What? I'm ready. Ready to do what? I am ready to do what Madame Egodi is asking of me. Take me to her now, please. Shall boy, I shall hold you here, Troza. So, the thing been there about they to do since he just pretend, pretend. You go wait till they break. I want to go to her now. Now! I say you go wait till they break. Shoot. That's how they punch you, hold you. You go wait till they break. Or if you know if you hold her, and get soap and water for here, we'll make her get her for you. You are a fool. God punish you. You are who they do so be. Idiot. Let get out of here. Until they break. Dressed already. Where are you rushing to? I want to go and see the dearest person in my life at the moment. Or don't you think I should be running to be with her? After giving you all that you wanted and regained my freedom. Sure. That's a logical thing for you to do. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Please, Madame Good. There is no bot in this. Hmm. Give me the money, let me go. I want to leave now. Give me the money, let me get out of this house, please. This room makes me sick. You say what? I've said enough. I've said enough for someone who is in a hurry to save his dying mother. 
I've said enough, but I'm a good. Give me the money, let me go, please. But I promise you, I will not tell anyone about what happened. I swear, I won't tell anyone, right? I won't tell anyone anything that happened. I will even tell them that you forced me to have sex with you without condom. Not even my mother. Do I look like I care who hears what about me? Baby boy? Mm -mm. I don't care. Of course you will go, but... You have to read this first. It's very important. Come on, take it from me and read. It's just a bet that it doesn't hurt. Come on. My whole life is changing. It's upside down. I have lost everything. It's upside down. I was happy, now I'm sad. Life was good, but now it's bad. What is happening? Oh, my life is upside down. Is this my destiny? It's upside down. Doctors report that you were raped? Mm-hmm. How? When did it happen? Here. Yeah. In this room. And you are the rapist. Madame Egodi, you can't be. I'm not done talking. I'm not done yet. A report has already been written by the police officer indicating that I reported being raped by an armed, masked young man who also made away with my valuables in this house. You see this? This. Is the spam to where you just ejaculated into me while we're making love here in this bed a while ago. So, you can go. As soon as you leave here, I am going straight. I'm going straight to a medical facility where it will be stored, preserved. Madame Egodi, for Christ's sake, why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Why what have I, I done wrong to you? Why am I doing this? Why? Why am I doing this? Oh! To punish you. To punish you. Because of the way you stressed me before agreeing to make love to me. I mean, no one stresses a good the way you did and get away unpunished. In addition for your punishment, you are going to forfeit Dora's document you came here with before you were arrested. And that includes you living here without shishu and any bully shoe. What a big goodie. You can't... Oh, the deed is done. There's nothing you can do about it. And if you try raising any dust against this, all it will take me is for an anonymous person to put a call to the police station indicating you as the rapist. A little test from what you have down here. And there's matches. You know what it is for you. Your gaze is as good. As good as mine, baby. You know. My very good. Why are, out. why are you this vile? I beg you in the name of God. Please, please forgive me. I need to save my mother's life. My mother is dying and I need the money. Oh, so, so after all this, I, I will gain anything. I will get the money. Please, I need the money, please. Please, I beg you. Good. 
Mm. You're a good boy, you know. Mm. Officer! Hey, 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 Madame please, please, I beg you, Madame Gaudi, please, have peace. I need more than my mother is dying, my mother is dying, please, please, Will you shut up. Need I remind you that if you want to walk about a free man in this axis, you will not hesitate to come and service me anytime. I need your services. <laughs> it has to be again and again. And again, now get out. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> you did disappoint in bed, you know. Now get out. Please. Please. Out. Get out! Move. I won't get anything. Get out! Move! Come on, please. Move! Sorry. Oh my word. This boy is. Boom! 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 I like that feeling, you know. Mother. Evil has invaded our home. I'm taking your son hostage. The Ebuka that you risked everything for has become so helpless that he can do nothing to help you now that you need help. A modern Jezebel, a vile, an old swine. Has black belt me into a helpless baby that I can do nothing but to sit right beside you, crying and be mourning. <laughs> Mother, Ebuka is now a prisoner in Madame Godi's cage. Please, please open your eyes. Open your eyes, mother. Open your eyes and tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. <laughs> Open your eyes and tell me what to do. Oh, tell me what to do. Open your eyes, please, mother. <laughs> come, 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 come. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Hey, God. Sorry, okay. I'm sorry. I was told you left since midday yesterday and you didn't return till now. Why? Doctor, I went to look for money. I went to look for money. You went to look for money to the extent of abandoning your sick mother for about 24 hours? Doctor, I did not abandon my mother. I did not. I I was sorry. Safe. With the details. I am here to inform you that if your mother's drug finish and you fail to replace them, I'll be left with no option than throw you out. Something will also happen if in the next two weeks you fail to provide the 250,000 Naira initial deposit for the surgery. Doctor, please. Don't. Uh, don't, don't, don't. Ebuka, it will interest you to know that this is a hospital where people are treated and not where they are watched to die. It is not also a charitable organization either. Excuse me. Um, doctor, please. Doctor. Why me, God? What, what do I do now? Today, God, I'll be a win on them, eh? I'll be on them, eh? I'll be on them, eh? God. Oh. Mother, I want to.
want you to know that I will try. I will do everything possible to make you leave. I don't know how I will do it, but I will try my best to make you leave, mother. You will not die. Nothing dies in my hand. I have God, you will not die. I will try my best. You will leave, mother. You will. I promise you that. I promise you. You will leave.
What do you want from me, Madam Ebony? What do you want from me? What is this? What do you want from me? Calm down. <laughs> Relax. Hmm? You know, three days is too long a time for a former Italian base pro like me to stay without sex. So, tonight, in my place, T TV. Let me tell you something. That will never happen. Did you hear what I said? That will never happen. <laughs> Thank you, stars. That aside being a firewood seller, you're also a pity teller. So, get your prison uniform ready. Get it soon before you go swearing them. May God punish you. I like that. May God punish you. 9 p.m. In my place. Don't you dare keep me waiting. See ya. May God punish you. Equence. What did I do to this woman? What is my problem? Eh? Is it not my apple? It's not my eating. Please, three ripe ones and one unripe. <laughs> Wait a minute, did I hear you correctly? Come on, uh -huh. co collect oh, which please, ones. Please, please, oh. Madam. It's not because they don't want to pay you now, not here what? And that is because she left your wallet in the house. You so know I can afford it. Now I am your bank account. Whatever yeah. I tell you to take is I what mean, you should. Put three ripe and one unripe. She will pay. She likes oh, yeah. making noise. Put for her because <laughs> I don't have strength to argue today. <laughs> If uh, apple eater, <laughs> want to leave it. Nico, I want um, watermelon and uh, pineapple. Only one. Amen, one, amen. one. One one. Okay. I'll start joining you. Now on five. You want to eat? After taking five apples, you still want my watermelon and pineapple? I will join you. That's better. Auntie, auntie, auntie put more for her. How much is this one? One five. Okay, okay. that's okay. one. Two, we'll eat it together. Three, three on. you and you. Right? Okay. So two five. That's five. everything. Auntie, I'll say one five. You want to dash her money? Bank of America. Really? Okay. It's not bad to dash me money. Ah, that's auntie. Right. Now this sakpa period, you know, I chop dashing money. No. That Um, sorry, yo. Sorry, my thoughts. I can't find my wallet. It's there now. You put it there. I see my money. Uh, auntie, sorry, please. please. Sorry, ma. Uh, I was with you when you put it inside here. No? I kept the wallet. You are not giving me money, auntie. Uh, auntie, sorry. Please, uh, we are looking for the money. I saw when you put it here. Hey. Um. Please, uh, don't be angry. I think we forgot our wallets in the house. We'll just um, quickly go home and get the wallets and come back and pick up the items. Sorry, oh, sorry. 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 You need to stop. Sorry, sorry. Please, let's just check along. I'm sure we're following. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. 
Money. 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 I'm sorry. I'm so so sorry. The prophet or the native doctor that told you it was me was right. It was indeed me. But please, forgive me. I'm sorry. If you're here to deal with me, go ahead and deal with me because I deserve no less for descending to such low. Please forgive me. I'm not a thief. I am not. I I have never. Please, please, um, stop. What exactly are you talking about? You mean you don't know? <laughs> know what? Oh, um, please, forgive me, please. I, I will tell you this. I, I have a confession. 